Is there anything worse than feeling jammed, your timing's late, you're miss hitting balls? We all have that feeling. We get on court and it's just, we just feel so cramped on the strokes. And all we want is to aspire to the fluidity of, of a Roger Federer. Now, although we may not find the fluidity of Roger, there are some things that Federer does that we can apply to our games to help us feel more fluid. And why we wanna be more fluid is that when we have space and our timing is correct, the contact improves. And remember, proper contact opens the doors to all the things that we want, right? If you, you look in, on YouTube and you do a search, it's all forehand power, forehand spin, blah, 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 you know, all really important things. But all of that is accessible because of really good contact. And contact is not, really good contact isn't available if you're jammed up. So let's talk about some things you can do to improve your timing and improve contact. And the first thing that Roger does is he creates space. And we love to refer to this as beach ball spacing. Very simple, it just looks like he's holding a beach ball. Now, when Roger starts the stroke, he uses the two L's and he creates space on the side of the body. His non-dominant arm then goes straight. You don't have to straighten your arm. Some players do, some players don't. Djokovic doesn't straighten his non-dominant arm, Federer prefers to. But so number one is create space early, all right? And number two, as we watch this play through just a little bit, is make sure the stroke doesn't get too big and be mindful of your hitting elbow. Too often what we see are players getting their elbow into position too far behind their body so that the racket, the swing path has to get too big in order to clear the hip. So what we're gonna see here from Roger is that his elbow stays on the right side of his body and doesn't pass the left side. So you can see just barely there getting to that line, but still on the right side of his body. And we'll see it right there. You can see here, it's still on the right side of his body. It doesn't get to the left side, all right? Because otherwise his stroke would have to get much bigger in order to clear the hip and get out to contact, all right? So being mindful of the elbow, and what you'll see here, right here, is the space between his elbow and hip. And this allows him to get the racket out to contact well out in front. Now, the straight arm, right, it's, it's desirable, but don't feel like if your arm's not straight at contact that you're doing something wrong. That's really, really difficult to do. But if you do the first two things right, you create space early and you keep the elbow on the right side of the body, the likelihood of getting the arm straighter through contact will climb. Now, how you'll know whether you're doing these things correctly is if you start correctly and you, the likelihood of finishing correctly improves a ton. So as we watch this, we'll see Roger come on through and you'll notice the spacing that he started with is almost, not as much, but is almost as equal to how he started. The racket starts here as contact works out in front, the contact finishes, and we can see that spacing at the end of the stroke as well. So those are the three things to really help kind of get rid of that jam feeling, feeling like your timing's off. Get the racket to the side early, get plenty of space, that beach ball spacing, keep the hitting elbow on the dominant side of the body. So if you're a lefty or on the left, as a righty, keep it on the right side of the body. And then be mindful of what your finish is doing. If you're constantly finishing and your elbow's really low, or if your racket's across your body, right? A lot of times you're late. Something's happened to where you're, you're late. Now I'm not saying that you can't finish low, but see how my elbow is still away from my body. I don't want my bicep or my chest or something's happened that's broken down at contact. So if you're finishing with your elbows up and away, it means the rest of the parameters of the stroke were pretty good. Guys, hope this helps a ton. If it did, you know, hit that like button, hit subscribe, share it with a friend, all the stuff that really helps the business. And to help you guys out, if you're looking for some buddies to play tennis with, competitive match play, if you wanna check out the new bracket challenge that's coming out soon, be sure to check out the link in the comment section to check out our platform absolutely for free. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you soon.